this band was conceived as a basically a project for me and I wanted to be very careful about the people I had in it so it's been a long time coming basically it's taken us two years to get the right personnel in this band to get the sound that we need the idea was to come up with a name that reflected the personality of the band and uh, we are a high energy rock band, right? Everything we do pushes energy, pushes energy. So high voltage seemed like a good name to us because it says basically who we are as a band and what we do. I started playing piano as a youngster at about age five. Uh, then I played trumpet. And when I was in school, I played in a large dance band, 22 piece, played trumpet. Um, doing mostly 40s big band stuff. Uh, then after school, when I went to university, I went to Boston Conservatory of Music. Uh, studied there for two and a half years and uh, got introduced to the guitar by a friend of mine and uh, got bitten by the rock and roll bug, as we used to say in those days, uh, and started playing rock and roll. Uh, then I went in the service and I had bands at various duty stations, including one here in Barbados in 1969 called Table of Contents. Uh, we did a few public appearances. Uh, people, some people uh, who've been around for a while may remember that. Uh, then uh, the next experience was Barbados Troubadours from 71 to uh, 73. Then uh, I went back to the States at that point, and I had a couple of band projects which for various reasons didn't pan out, so I decided uh, we knew we were coming back here to Barbados to leave when we finished working, so I decided to wait till I came back here. And uh, over the period of the last two years, I very painstakingly put this thing together, finding the right combination of people. So you have that chemistry on stage, which is so important uh, to a band. You can have really good players in a band, but if they're not connected musically, then the sound suffers. <laughs> We're a, I would say we're what, what I would call an, uh, an equal voice band. Everybody has an equal voice. People come forward with ideas for arrangements. They come forward with ideas for songs. And everything is entertained. So um, because we play a lot of our repertoire is more classic rock and classic R&B, uh, we do do contemporary music. But we're more targeted at classic rock and classic R&B, which would be not so much the 60s. We do a one or two from the 60s, mostly 70s and 80s, uh, that uh, they are not as familiar with that music. So as a couple of the members told me there, you know, this is an education for them because a lot of the songs that we do, they weren't exposed to before we did them. Bruno Mars song, Uptown Funk, I love it. That is a... It's a classic, right? It's a classic 70s funk groove, right? Uh, done with things that weren't available then, like the polished video the polished video and the dancing performance and all that kind of stuff. But it is a classic 70s funk groove. And I'm so happy to see that. And uh, that's a song, that's a contemporary song that I would have no trouble playing. Because... I, that you know that was formative years for me, and I love funk. I love the old funk stuff from the 70s. We're we're planning to uh, continue our efforts. Uh, obviously, the plan is to have a great launch on April the 11th. With a successful launch, obviously, we'll hope to see more and more and more people come and support us. Uh, we think we have a, uh, a great show to give people, and um, we just hope everybody comes out and supports us. That's what it's about. <laughs> <laughs>